Hi, um, today I'm going to be talking about women and how women need to be looking out for each other. Just recently, as you probably know, there's been a lot of media and news about um, Ghislaine Maxwell, right? Ghislaine Maxwell, the woman who who supplied a lot of underage girls for the servicing of a billionaire Epstein. I've been reading a lot different cases, different different articles following the media in general. And what I've noticed from quite a lot of crimes against children and crimes against women is that it wasn't yes the guilty party was guilty but from what I've noticed there seems to be a whole the environment and the people around that guilty party also enabled it to happen enabled these events to happen frequently as we know a large portion of criminals are men but that being besides the point yes they can be discovered as being guilty but very frequently you will find that there was a female figure maybe a girlfriend maybe a wife Maybe even a society that just looked the other way when certain things were happening. Ghislaine Maxwell is a very, has been a very wealthy, well to do woman coming from what a lot of people would say a good family, right? Good family background. And more than enough wealth for her to follow pretty much whatever she wanted to. I looked, in, I looked into her history. I looked into her... I looked on Wikipedia just at the basics. And then from there I went, I looked at pictures of her family and her father and everything. It seemed like, just from what I read, she was her dad's favorite. And on the, on the website, on one of the websites that gave de details about him, it was saying that he had a quote one time that he could he could not work with men. He couldn't abide working with men, especially as in an assistant or um, like a a branch of him position, like following out his orders, like doing things. He could not work with men. He much preferred working with women as a secretary, as a as a person who would take his orders and then have them f follow through or ensure that they would be followed through. He much always preferred a woman because she would, women would more likely become an extension of oneself. An extension of oneself. He said the men were too independent. They would probably go off and do their own, they, you know, maybe they'd have a different idea of doing the same thing and then they'd, they'd do that instead of following his exact um, steps 
and it seemed that they were very close. Uh, the, the, the Maxwell father and Ghislaine were very close. And she also took care of his affairs quite a lot. When she grew up, she became a, a, an assistant and a, a person who, who worked as, as his executive, pretty much. To my knowledge, I don't think there's anything... I don't think he abused her, and I don't think that was... I don't... I don't know, basically. But I think, as I'm going to guess, that as she was growing up, she, even though she came from a very wealthy family, it was still strongly instilled in her that women are adjunct. Adjunct, A-D-J-U-N-C-T, meaning are auxiliary. We are helping, we are branch off structures, we're not the main one. We're, we're tacked on and we can continue function, but we're not essential to the, can be essential to the whole, but we're, we're not essential for, from, from the original point. That's what I mean. I, I am assuming from the way things have gone that she totally swallowed the idea that the women are adjunct. And she also probably followed a lot of his business ideas. I mean, anyone growing up in a family where you have a, a tycoon and he's doing his thing, I mean, if you follow the, the Trump family, etc., and him and Trump, Donald Trump and his father, that growing up with that tycoon, business at all costs, capitalist mentality, nothing's personal, everything is business, right? It's all business. Everything is business. When they're growing up, those kids, the kids of any tycoon is going to learn, they are going to learn that. You will be fine in the business world as long as you can turn something that other people need or require into a business that brings you money, right? I think Ghislaine Maxwell learned that very well. She learned that you can't take things personally. She learned that everything can just be a business. And that's what she did. Her livelihood came from supplying men, rich, wealthy, powerful men, and maybe women, with, with a commodity that they needed. A commodity obviously being children and and I think this probably also happens with a lot of other people who people who are the enablers and the suppliers not necessarily that the child abusers and molesters and rapists no but there are suppliers and there are people who enable it to happen they supply it they probably they or, or maybe they just don't even tell but there, there, there's, there's people who have this as a business. They are, what do you call, the person who, the, the getter, the person who gets the goods and brings them to the customer. In terms of, especially in terms of like child abuse or trafficking or that kind of thing. That per, I, I can't quite think of the name now. But th this is a system and, and at some point these particular people have totally instilled that idea. Maybe they don't have any other ideas for a business that they can follow or uh, use to better themselves but what they've grown up is something that they get into and it's all just business selling a child selling a human selling the hour with a child selling an hour with a human it's all just business and they've swallowed it entirely the thing is children don't usually have a a choice. Adults do. Like a prostitute, she sells herself by the hour. Fine. She makes a choice to do that. Maybe she's maybe she's uh, she's stuck to it via an addiction to crack cocaine or something. Who knows? But essentially, at some point, she does have some choice in it. But but a child or an even younger, there's no choice there. Any. Oh, 
child abductions, etc. But basically what I'm coming to is that at some point either the person has des des decided that it's, it's just business. It's not personal, it's just business. I'm, I am a, a, a businessman and I'm, I'm acquiring resources here, human resources. I'm, a, I'm acquiring human resources here and I'm selling them over here to like the highest bidder, basically. And she, Ghislaine Maxwell, probably swallowed this idea whole. She, she knew that, okay, I'm a woman and I'm, I'm, there's probably a whole bunch of stuff that, that she was conditioned with. And we were all conditioned to a certain extent, right? But there was a bunch of stuff that she, she just started to believe growing up and clearly she might, I mean, she, it, she, she looks like she was a well-educated lady. She looks very well put together, right? I mean, looking at pictures of her, you just can't believe it. But at some point, she's really swallowed the idea that business is just business. And she was just a person. She was a middleman. She was getting resources on this side and selling them on this side. She didn't, I don't know if she hurt them or anything. I don't think she did. But she was just running a business. If you look at, if you, if you, if you never mind looking at, oh, it's babies and, uh, no, not babies, it's, it's, uh, it's young women, it's, it's this kind of, you know, babies, children, who, I'm not just talking about Ghislaine Maxwell, I'm talking about anyone who's a procurer and it's female, or female or male, basically 